Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be another weekly vlog. It's probably going to be a little bit shorter. I'm starting this on Friday. It's Friday morning. I'm just getting ready and putting on my makeup. I've been really liking starting the vlogs just like this. I can chat with you guys and stuff while I get ready. We are headed to vacation starting tomorrow on Saturday. So I just want to update you guys on some stuff. This is probably going to be a quicker vlog. I'll just chat through like what's going on and then... Um, once we get to vacation, I'll show you guys the vacation house and that's pretty much gonna be the whole vlog. <laughs> Basically, um, I'm going on my family vacation that we do every single year. It's like a lot of our family members. We go to the beach and um, we all stay in like a big beach house and it's gonna be tons of fun. So we're going for 4th of July week, which we haven't done in a few years just because everybody's been pretty busy. But we are going this year and I get to see my nieces. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have not seen one of my nieces. Um, she was a COVID baby, so I have not seen her. And then the other, we actually, I think last time I saw her was on family vacation. So yeah, very excited to see them. And this is gonna be a really fun vacation because we have babies with us, which we never do. So that's gonna be exciting. We are going to a beach in South Carolina. I won't tell you guys like what it is until after we've already left, just for safety reasons, you know? But um, yeah, we are heading out tomorrow, so I have a ton of packing to do tonight. Um, I did already pick out most of my outfits earlier in the week, so all I have to do is just pack them, but I was waiting for Kai to not be here because when we start packing, he gets super anxious. Um, and Ryan's parents are actually coming today to pick him up to watch him for a week while we're on vacation. So super grateful for, to them for that. Um, so I'm going to pack once he's gone and that should be good. So I've got to pack a lot tonight. We are leaving tomorrow morning. My mom and I are going to be driving there. It's like a 16 hour drive. So we're breaking it up in two days. So we're going to drive a little more than halfway, like two thirds of the way there tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we should get there around like five o'clock-ish, maybe earlier, maybe later, we'll see. But that's the plan. So my mom and I are gonna stay the night somewhere along the way on Saturday. And yeah, just really exciting. Um, I've never been to this town in South Carolina, so I'm excited to try. I've, I've never been to South Carolina. I've never been to the Atlantic Ocean. I've only ever been to the Gulf, to like Florida and stuff. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. It's supposed to be beautiful. I've looked up pictures and you guys know I'm like very type A, so I have to know what I'm going into, but I'm excited. It's going to be really cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to be on vacation all next week, but we won't really get to the house till Sunday night. So, um, so I won't have really much to vlog from now until Sunday. It's really just packing, driving. And then once we get to the house, I'll give you guys a like overview tour of the house um on sunday so really exciting stuff but i'm just gonna do my makeup and finish getting ready for the day ryan's parents are coming around lunchtime, so they're gonna i think they're gonna bring us lunch and we're gonna eat lunch together and then finish the work day and pack and i have to go to hgb um and pick up some non-perishables that we can like drive in the car with us that's the best part about going in the car is we can like bring snacks and drinks and stuff and not have to buy it once we get to the beach because everything is always so expensive in beach towns. So just a word to the wise there, yeah. So we're gonna pick up a lot of stuff. So my mom and I decided to drive. Everybody else is flying, including Ryan. He's gonna fly in on Sunday and fly out on Friday. But my mom and I decided we would like to bring a car and all of our like beach supplies, like our beach chairs and, um, bring stuff for the house and things like that so we are driving so that's gonna be fun but my mom's gonna probably drive most of it she loves driving i'm also excited to not be flying because i don't have to worry about how much i'm packing i'm definitely gonna like overpack. <laughs> um but i don't have to worry about my liquids fitting and all that kind of stuff so that's exciting too but okay anyways i'm gonna finish getting ready and i will um update you guys once I am packing and just kind of show you what I'm bringing and stuff and 
yeah so i will talk to you guys later hello guys it is now <sighs> later in the day on friday ryan's parents just came by picked up kai we had lunch with them and it was so yummy and i'm about to go run some errands so i have a lot of returns and exchanges to do that i wanted to get done today i might not get them all done but i have a few that i like absolutely need to get done so come along with me to run some errands and maybe do a little shopping so let's go good haul for you guys when I get home. I don't think I'm gonna make it to Sephora though because it's already 5 30 and Ryan wants me to go to the gym with him at um, the house so we're gonna go to the gym but I am headed home. Okay guys we are back at the house and I have my little haul for you guys. I'm also in the middle of picking out everything to pack so ignore the messy bed but um so the first place i went was ups to drop off uh, amazon return and then staples to drop off an old navy return which was pretty fun so they give you a ten dollar off of 30 coupon and i needed some stationary stuff so i got me a new journal for work it says get it done and it's like this really nice leather bound um so it's super cute and it's pretty thick so yeah perfect for work picked that one up. I think it was like $12.99. Then I picked up a new calendar because calendars start over again in July. So I picked up this cute one. It's got like a gold top and pretty designs. So I think it, is it lemons all year round? Yeah, it's lemons all year round. So, and then I picked up uh, command strips just to get me to the $30 because you can never have too many of these. And then at Marshall's, um, I found these shoes, which I have these, but they're pretty dingy and old, and they don't have, this has like a little bit of a heel to them, like a little lift, so these were $39.99. I get a new pair of these like white Reeboks pretty much every year when I see them at uh, Marshall's, so it's about time, so I picked these up, and then I found this Tree Hut, to, to, I can't say that, Tahitian Vanilla Bean Post Shave Soothing Mist, so I thought I'd try that out for $3.99, so that's this one. And then at Target, I picked up a few things for the trip. So I needed some little wet one wipes to put in the beach bag, some crust for um, just, you know, mouthwash while we're on the trip, and then some new deodorant for myself. I needed a face sunscreen for us, and I really wanted to get one that was not um, zinc-based because that one does not work well on Ryan's skin and my skin, and it kind of burns. So... I hope the Sunbum one is good. It was a little more expensive than the others, so I hope it's good. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to get our normal everyday SPF dirty and gross by bringing it to the beach, so I specifically bought one for the beach or the pool. And then I bought this Maui Bay Browning Lotion because I've seen it all over TikTok, and I'm excited to try it. So I will keep you guys updated. Of course, I will definitely be wearing sunscreen with this. So yeah, I will be very careful when I use it, but I'm excited. So that's this, and then my Target has an Ulta attached, so they had a buy one, get one free on all minis going on at Ulta this week, and I picked up the Hangover RX Pillow Balm, which is one of my absolute favorites. I got this in the past from a friend for Christmas, and oh my god, you guys, this is the best lip balm ever. It's so luxurious. So this was like $17, and then I got the Benetint Cheek Tint, which is like $21, I think it was, and I've actually never tried it. But I am almost out of my Rare Beauty um, blush, liquid blush. So I thought I'd pick this up and give it a try. So I can't, I can't open it right now with one hand. But yeah, very excited to try that. And then on Amazon, I did pick up this Emily Henry book, People We, People we Meet on Vacation. So I'm excited to read both this one and Beach Read. I have Beach Read on Audible. So ooh, I'm so excited to read a little bit during uh, this vacation. So that is everything that I picked up. And with that, I need to pack a lot. So I'm going to let you guys go and pack a ton. And I will probably see you tomorrow morning. So talk to you guys later.
hello guys it is now saturday i'm in the car as you can see stuffed to the brim and we just made it to louisiana from texas so we are on our way to south carolina we're actually sleeping tonight in alabama and then tomorrow we should be there so we just stopped for chick-fil-a for lunch and yeah so we've got another like five hours in the car and then we'll be there well we'll be in alabama we won't be there yet Hello guys and happy Sunday. We are at Lane Southern Orchards in Georgia. We are almost to South Carolina, so we're doing really good. We have like three hours left of our drive, but we're stopping at this market for Georgia peaches and like peach cobbler and stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys inside. I'm excited, but they have really good bathrooms and it's supposed to be like a, a travel stop. So very exciting. Hello guys, we are now um, at the beach house. So here's the pools. There's like a waterfall jacuzzi into the real pool. It's so pretty. So I don't think I can actually give you a tour because everybody's already moved into their rooms and ready to, uh, well not hit the hay because it's only 7.40 and we're still waiting for some more people to get here. Hello guys, it is currently Wednesday, July 5th. The 4th was yesterday. I was going to just go ahead and edit the vlog and upload it, but I think I'm just gonna take the whole week off because I've been really enjoying vacation and don't really want to sit on my laptop for an hour and edit. So I will edit on the way home and just combine the entire vlog. So anyways, it is now almost five o'clock. We are getting ready for dinner. We spent today at the beach. I am pretty red. Um, if you can kind of tell, here's my tan line. There you go, now you can tell. Um, and I'm wearing the shirt that I just bought. Hilton Head, South Carolina is where we are at. But yeah, we are getting ready for dinner. We're going to this sunset, um, or not sunset, this place that's on the water. And it's supposed to be really amazing for seafood and stuff, so I'm excited but I've just been jamming out to some like throwback music while getting ready. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly do my hair and makeup, which I'm thankful that I bought the um, shark hair um, styler. So, you know, hopefully that'll be a little quicker. It took me about 20 minutes to do my hair last time. So I'm hoping that it'll also be quick this time. And yeah, so I will get ready, show you guys the final look and 
bring you along with me to dinner, but I'm having so much fun. It's really awesome to be back with my family. And of course the beach is beautiful. This place that we're at is actually also really beautiful. This house is nice and everything like that. So, but yeah, I will let you guys go and go finish getting ready and talk to you all later. Here's the final look, like a 15 minute blowout. Wow. And then I'm wearing my old navy little romper and my new earrings I just got from J. Crew. So let's go to dinner. a.m. and we're going to watch the sunrise. My voice, I can't even like talk right because we just woke up, brushed our teeth, and walked out the door. But I wanted to see the sunrise at least once while we're here at the beach because we haven't seen the sunset. So this is the last full day and then we're going to leave on Saturday and Ryan flies out tonight. But it sounds really beautiful out here with all the cicadas. So... Sunday. It is around four o'clock and I just finished unpacking. I got home at around one and that was a wonderful vacation. I loved spending time with my nieces and just really relaxing. I honestly didn't look at my phone too much while we were there. I only posted like a few times during the week. I checked emails every now and then, but like, uh, it felt so good to unplug and I did like the beaches a lot. I have to say I still like Florida better for beaches and they're closer to us, but it was still a really great city of Hilton Head and I really enjoyed myself. So I do have a little haul to share with you guys before we go, but this is gonna be the end of the vlog. So let me turn you around and show you the haul first. Honestly, we did pretty good because I didn't buy too much stuff. I'll start with the like Hilton Head Island shirt. So I got this little tank top, it's cropped. It says Hilton Head, South Carolina. I just loved this fabric. It is so soft and then the font is really cute too. So I picked this up and then I picked up this Coastal Provisions Company um, Hilton Head Island little like tie-dye blue shirt. I thought this was so cute. I got it in a large so I could wear it like to the pool or oversized and stuff. So. Those are the two like souvenir shirts. I believe they were both around like $20, maybe like 25 and 22 or something or 18. Um, and then we did go to TJ Maxx, of course. <laughs> Me and my cousins love TJ Maxx. So I picked up a new white tank top because mine actually was stained. That's the only reason why I couldn't bring it on this trip. So I picked up a new just plain white tank top and this was $9.99. And then I found this really pretty smocked top for $12.99, also in white. I just thought that was adorable. And this is the brand Sim and & Sam. And then I found some Avalanche branded like hiking shorts. These are such good fabric. They feel awesome. And they are like this forest pine green. I've really been loving shorts lately just cause it's a hundred degrees outside and it's perfect for working from home and walking Kai and all that good stuff. So pick these up, they have pockets and they actually have this really nice um, flap in the back with some more pockets and stuff. So really great for runs and things like that too. If I decide to pick back up running in the fall or something. So 
just a really nice pair of shorts for a great price, $16.99. So these are the three things that we got from TJ Maxx. And then we did find a running company store in Hilton Head Island that Ryan was just obsessed with. So he bought himself a pair of OnCloud sneakers. He also bought me a pair. So these are the, well, let me just show you the actual packaging name because I don't know. These are the Cloud Surfers in White Frost and I got a size eight. I'm a seven and a half, but you're really supposed to get a half size up on like running shoes, but I'm gonna use these mostly for just um, the gym and stuff, not really for running, but they are good for that too. So pick these up. They are so comfy. They feel like you're on a cloud of gel. They feel so good. And these were over a hundred dollars, but honestly a great investment if you want your feet to, you know, be comfortable and you want to treat your feet right because you're on them all day long. So anyways, picked up my first pair of OnCloud. So I'm very excited about those. And on that same shopping trip, we did go to Lululemon and I picked up this beautiful set um, on the phone, it's not looking as beautiful and vibrant candy um, bubblegum pink as it is on my on the real life. But yeah, I picked up this um, V-neck bra. This was 58. This is the color I L I P G. So whatever that means, that's what color it is. But I just love this set. It was so cute on. You guys saw a video of me trying it on. And then I got some biker shorts. This is actually my first pair of biker shorts from Lululemon. So I'm excited to see how they fit and how they feel after like using them for a while. So this is the Lululemon Align HR short in the six inch inseam. These are 64. And I wanted to find some in the not Align um, brand. I think they're like the, um, they're supposed to be better for heavy activity, but these are good for like Pilates and yoga and stuff. And they're so soft. So I'm very excited to use this set. And then these little shorts are so comfy. These are going to be definitely like lounging around the house shorts. They are so unbelievably soft. I wish you guys could feel this. And I've actually never seen these shorts in my store before. So these are the Soft Stream HR shorts in the four inch inseam. And I was just so excited to find these. So that is our little haul from Hilton Head. So yeah, if you guys ever go to Hilton Head or if you've heard about it before, let me know what you think. I know it's a great spot if you live on the East Coast already and you're in South Carolina, North Carolina or anywhere like near that. It's definitely a lot closer for you guys, but for me, it was a two day drive. I think it was just a little too far, but I still enjoyed myself. I had a great summer vacation and we are back to the grind starting tomorrow on Monday, but I hope you guys enjoyed this long two week vlog. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.